Hello again, and welcome back to No Man's Sky with Hyperion, or whatever I'm going to call this. But uh, right now, I am in the middle of doing uh, a series of videos because I've been doing a lot of videos that were merely pointing out bugs and glitches for No Man's Sky that uh, were trying. To, I was trying to encourage them to fix and improve upon the game as it currently stands. But what I wanted to do was a series of videos talking about ways to improve and expand upon the game that already use mechanics that are already in the game, but just are be a good improvement. This isn't bug fixes and, and fixing how the system already works. It's additions and updates that could be added down the line. And the first video was... Uh, about adding more uh, reasons and interactions with freighters in a more of a battle sense. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Uh, it's just a way to expand on space battles. But while we were talking about space battles, I had another idea. And this one I can see is having a little bit of a mixed reaction from uh, fans and, and players of the game. But I was playing the game and I kind of kind of felt like this would be a, 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 an interesting dynamic to add. And that is, so when you're in a space battle, and unfortunately this is not going to be something I can just automatically recreate or show you right here, but we'll, we'll talk about it um, while I try to do something interesting in the background. Maybe I'll get attacked by pirates and that this will help out, but what I think would be interesting is if you if you've ever played the game or you haven't played the game, it'd be really nice if I could see all the there it is. Okay, so you see all the the stuff up there and you have up in the upper left corner, you have your shield and uh please stop going away. Shield and this unusual set of eight ship icons. Now that is your hull damage. And I always thought that was a peculiar system and some ships will have more or less of those based on um the the quality of the ship and whatnot but after all of those are gone your ship explodes you die and you have to start over in the space station and go collect your stuff this is all fine uh but when you get back in your ship one of your pieces of equipment is damaged, say your hyperdrive or your upgrade to your laser blasters or something will be damaged and you have to repair it. And this is your punishment for dying because there's not much more punishment for dying. You can actually go collect your stuff again out in space and it's not that hard because when you reload, the battle is over, the pirates are gone and that's that. But what I think would be more interesting is if when you were in battle, and you lose your shields and knock out one of those little icons in the upper left corner, one of your pieces of equipment went out then. It became damaged right there in the middle of battle. And that would be, I think, more dynamic in battles if in the middle of the battle somebody shot you in just the right way and took out your rockets and you no longer have your rockets to fire um also it could just take out your upgrades or even your shielding and this could be something that while you're in battle you might need to go and repair something right there on the spot if you can or just have to suddenly rely on a weapon that you've never used before i think that would add a lot more dynamic and maybe storytelling elements to the gameplay um, in such this this game in which you create your own story. So it would be much more interesting to go to your friends afterwards and say, oh, I was in this this dramatic space battle and and all of a sudden he shot me just right and I lost my I lost my cyclotron blista and that's that's the one I have the most upgrades in so I had no choice but to switch to phasers uh, photon cannon and and just whittle away at him and stay out of uh, stay out of his range. Just smash into that. That's another thing, and I'll get into that in a second. Uh, but I had to use the photon cannons to whittle away his shields, and finally was able to switch over to rockets and blast him right one last time. Oh, almost hit that one again. And that's another thing I wanted to talk about was uh, collision damage in this game. I'm a little disappointed with it. I wish. And I know why they didn't go this route, but I wish it did more damage to your ship. In fact, 
if anything, I wish it actually destroyed your ship. Now, I had this discussion with somebody in uh, Grand Theft Auto that I said that I hate how all the cars in Grand Theft Auto feel like giant bricks that just bounce off of things. And yes, they take a little damage, but they don't wrap around a light pole like a real car would. And they said, well, that wouldn't be very fun because then everybody would just just total their cars constantly five minutes after buying them. And I was like, well, see, yes, they would, but they also would start getting much better at actually driving. They would actually get more immersed in the game where they have to drive more carefully. But we live in a society where people really just want to, like, blast through everything as quickly as possible. So, therefore, that's why I can hit that and only lose half my shields. That was at full speed. I should have blown up, and that would have made a less forgiving game, but a much more interesting dynamic to the flying. I would feel better about flying in between pillars and barely grazing stuff, you know, like that did. You know, and that that did a little damage, and that's probably more accurate. I scraped that thing. Boom. But that didn't really do enough damage to warrant what I would think would happen if I was to collide that hard with some object. So that's just another little thing to throw out there. But really what I wanted to talk about was the idea that during dynamic battles, it would be more interesting if your parts were broken as the battle commenced and not only after losing the battle. Because I very rarely lose the battle and I therefore very rarely have to repair anything. I have a ton of trophium here and my ship is in perfect working order and it has been for a long time. There's not a lot of reasons to ever repair equipment. And as I've said many times about this game, it's got a lot of gameplay elements that are underutilized and held back from the player. It's neat that you can repair equipment, but you almost never have to do it. So yeah, I think that would be an interesting dynamic and we're gonna land right here and see what this thing is. Looks like an abandoned facility. Uh, which, I, that would be why I can't land on it. But see, right there, it was nerve-wracking that I didn't land, and it would have been interesting to see if there was more of a consequence if I had run into that wall. But anyways, that's not that important to me, but the dynamic space battles, more dynamic space battles, could be more interesting. And that's up to a lot of other people and their opinions. I'm sure a lot of people would be like, no, I suck at space battles, please don't add that mechanic. But I think it would be cool. So again, thank you for watching. I've been Hyperion. This is No Man's Sky. Bye-bye.